of May uh, 2023. So, guys, uh, opposition uh, citizens uh, coalition for change, Triple C leader Nelson Chamisa, he said his party is an ethnic vote rigging scheme by the ruling parties and PF ahead of the general elections set for August this year. In what he described as a criminal act and scheme, the opposition leader claims an PF working in cows with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC was transferring voters from rural areas to urban areas which are non triple C strongholds in order to boost the ruling party's chances of winning. Chamisa will face NPF's Emerson Nangagwa in the presidential ballot with the human rights watchdogs predicting a bloodly disputed election. Well, NPF has since completed its primary elections and announced its candidates. Triple C says it is finalizing its own selection. The party spokesperson, Fadzemaire, recently told local media that vetting had been completed and successful candidates would be reviewed following consultations with stakeholders. In a series of posts on Twitter Thursday, Shamsa said the scheme is a part of the ruling party's efforts to win legislative and council seats, adding that his party will boycott sex voters role if it is not signed off by all parties. A criminal act, a huge scam, said the Triple C leader. We are aware of their desperate schemes to manipulate elections, so they are transferring voters from rural areas to urban areas so that they boost their small numbers in urban areas. They want to use fraud to win members of parliament and councillors in urban areas. Not this time, he added. After the blitz, the Zimbabwe's voters' roll now is over. 6.4 million registered voters. We will not allow and accept a voters' roll that is not audited, validated, and signed off by all the candidates and parties. Don't neglect your patriotic duty to make your voice count. In March this year, the High Court dismissed an application by opposition legislator Alan Rusty Magham demanding the release of an electronic version of the voters' roll to be used in the upcoming general elections. Delivering his judgment, Justice Neva Katio said the voters' roll was a sensitive document which could not be dished out without addressing security concerns. In 2022, Zeg denied responsibility for the messy voters' roll following scrutiny by data analyst Tim Pachedu. The electoral body accused political parties of causing the fiasco by issuing their supporters of Davids with similar addresses during the voters' registration exercise. According to Tim Pachedu, at the time, Times registered under one residential address. Despite Zek denying responsibility for the anomaly, the pressure group said other irregularities on the voters' roll included names of 3,253 people aged 100 years or more, including 11 who are older than the oldest known surviving person on earth recorded in the Guinness World Book of Records. So, guys, that's the latest here. That's the latest. Inyaya, Yema elections are recorded this year in August. So, according to Wachamisa, he is saying that ZNPF is moving people from rural areas uh, to cities. They're saying that they're trying by all means to win the urban vote uh, this year in 2023. And besides, they are moving from rural areas to urban areas. I mean, ZNPF has been successfully selling the ideas that the opposition political parties have failed to run the city councils. And it really worked well in April. Last year, from by elections, I got March 26. So this year is gonna be another challenge again. Mnojumbo zaka sena sena. Remember, nyari yema tato deeds zakari. Sanu PF or the government will be promising my tato deeds. Kunajumbo zaka sena sena, especially in urban areas. Kwanu zewo tu uko kuma informo settlements avana na mapepa. Saka, it's another bonus advantage for them. And saka, it's gonna be a very very big 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 challenge for Bacha Misa kutwa wewe ni new strategy to make sure that. Uh, he will retake again all those urban seats, uh, both councillors and the parliamentary uh, seats for my elections that come in August this year, uh, 2023. So guys, this is our daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. We'll be focusing more on the voters' role. Yes, because enjoy that kosha. Voters' role that kosha because can I see it clear? Can I stand as an audit? As now, when we come to the camera, say I don't think with election no more good. So, voters' role should be clean, should be audited, at the same time, should be signed off by all political parties who will be taking part by my elections article. And so, be keeping you up to date here with the latest daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller and the Timmy TV. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. 
remember to turn on the notification bell bless up